Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to fix Linux kernel panic issue. I am having the CentOS Linux operating system with the 7.9 OS version. Also, I am having the two kernel installed on my system. That is for your information. This is the two kernel version installed on my system. Under boot directory, there is a any time of us file available for the both the installed kernel. Let me see that. So these are the any time of us file for the testing purpose, for learning purpose. I am going to remove all this file and I am going to fix the kernel panic issue. Let's see how I am going to do. So now I have deleted everything under boot directory. So now I am going to reboot my system and see what happened. So my system getting boot up and it is showing the three kernels so one is uh, two kernel and later rescue mode you can see this is the error i am stuck my system stuck into this screen press any key to continue if i press again it will come to the same and you can see it is clearly saying that kernel panic not syncing so this is a common issue every system admin knows to fix this issue i already uploaded two videos in my youtube channel you can go ahead and watch that both are the simple method how to fix in this video i am going to show you another method using rescue mode to fix the issue i am going to power off my machine just power off it to attach the iso image i'm just clicking this icon and it will ask me to choose the iso image i already have the centos 7 iso image I'm just selecting that, clicking the choose. So my it is my, my it is attached into the my system. Now I am going to click OK. Now I am going to start my system, and you can see here my system is booting up. So now my system is booting with uh, attached ISO image. So here three options are available. I am going to choose option three, troubleshooting, and then pressing enter. Here multiple options are available. Here I am going to choose rescue sent to OS system the second option pressing enter so we can see here now my system is asking the following steps here i am going to choose option one then press enter so now just i want to press enter the next step i immediately i need to type ch root slash mnt slash cc image once this is done we can see so all the informations are available now if i check in my slash boot there is no any time of us file to fix it i need to regenerate the any time of us file to fix the issue i am going to regenerate the any time of us file for that i am going to use rocket command yes i am typing the rocket iphone iphone regenerate iphone all iphone iphone force then press enter or you can type iphone v just want to see the what is the progress is going on just enter which will take one or two minutes and it will try to regenerate the any term of us file for the all the installed linux kernel in the system just wait for the command execution so we can see the command has been executed successfully now see whether the any term of us file is created or not yeah we can see it is created for the both the kernel whatever installed on my system it is created for the both the kernel now it's time to exit the system from the screen just type exit and type one more time exit now my system will boot up with the proper kernel so here it is asking troubleshoot and all because i have attached the iso image so now i need to detach the iso image just close it just power up the system and detach the iso image go to the settings storage click here and remove the attachment just click ok and then again power on you can see my system is putting with the latest kernel since we have regenerated the initial of us file using the iso image rescue mode now we can see my system it ported with the latest kernel let's log into the system yeah we are able to fix the kernel panic issue 
I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.